Hello, I'm Kristen and welcome to this prenatal birth ball stretch routine, which is going to help ease any stiffness in the body and help you prepare it for labor. I have found these stretches, the ones that I keep going to every single evening to help just relax and ease any tension out of my body. All right, so all you need is a birth ball and just make sure that when you sit on it, that your hips are not lower than your knees. You don't want to be sinking. So if it's about at knee level, hips and knees, that's the best place to be. Um, for most people, it would probably be a 65 centimeter ball. Um, and if you're a bit taller, uh, go for the 75 centimeter ball and you'll be good to go. All right, let's just have a little seat on your ball. And I just want you to start with some breathing. So I just want you to take a big inhale, breathe into your belly and exhale, hug baby into you. And exhale. Really hug the baby in. We'll do two more. So now we're just going to start with some pelvic tilts. We're going to tuck the tailbone under, rock forward, and then a little arch through the spine and release, rock back, tilting forward and rocking back. Tilt forward and rock back. And I'll just show you that from the angle. So you can see the tailbone really tucking under and then releasing back. So it's almost like you're moving through your cat and cow position, but seated on the ball. Really feel free to round through the spine, chin to chest, and inhale to release. And let's do one more. Good, now start to swing your hips side to side. Just taking your weight from one hip to the other, or one sit bone to the other. And then we'll take it into a few circles to the right, circling those hips all the way around, trying to paint a big circle on the ball. Let's just do one more and then we'll reverse that circle other way. Bringing it back through center. Now we're going to try to paint a figure of eight with our hips on the ball. So we're going to circle one way around and then tuck the tailbone, go back the other way around. So painting a figure of eight, really tucking that tailbone so you feel that scoop. This one is just really good to help mobilize your pelvis. And all these movements on the ball just help baby to drop down into a good position for labor. And let's do one more. And then bringing it back through center. All right, I'm gonna turn back and face front. Now we're gonna just reach one arm up overhead and take a big side bend, mermaid stretch. The other arm can just reach down the side of your bowl. And then bring it back through center. And change, reach up and over. Just make sure you're relaxing that top shoulder. And 
and bringing it back through center. All right, we're gonna stay seated here. Just make sure you feel really grounded into your ball. And we're just going to lift one foot and cross it over your knee. And then we can just hinge forward here for our glute stretch. So you might just need to adjust yourself so you don't roll off to the side. If you have anything nearby you to help you balance, use it. It's definitely more about the stretch than any balance here, but it's really nice to help open up through that hip and glute. Just breathing into it, just tipping forward at the hips. Send that breath right into your glute, and then when you're ready, you can change over to the other leg. And then just hinging forward again. Even though we do have more relax in the body and you might feel a bit more flexible, sometimes you can also feel more stiff just because we're getting uncomfortable in certain positions. So even though some of our flexibility is improving, we can actually feel more stiff in other positions. Go ahead and release. Now we're just gonna take our feet a little bit wider so you have this nice wide stance, almost like you're gonna do a sumo squat. And then I want you to drop one out, shoulder forward, give a little twist, come back up, and drop the other shoulder down and up. So when you do this, you're pressing that knee out to the side and opening up through those abductors, those inner thighs. And let's just do one more each way. In the evenings, especially after dinner, I just quite enjoy sitting on the ball and doing some of these gentle movements side to side. Or if you're watching TV, it's just really nice to sit up on the ball and just have your posture um, feeling quite aligned and also helps you to digest your food as well. So this is great every single evening. Then my other favorite, one of my other favorite, favorite stretches here roll back just a little bit here. We're gonna walk our feet forward, go very slowly, and we're just going to bring our hands behind our head and let our hips drop down. Do you feel this opening up through the chest? Now you can stay here, or if you want a deeper stretch, start to just extend your legs so you come a little bit more on top of the ball. You can let your hands fall forward, right over your head. Just get a nice arch through the spine here. And the ball completely supports you. And just stay there for a few breaths. Come out of it if you need to. And then when you're ready, come all the way back forward. And we're just going to Come into a deep squat here. So this one, we're gonna hold a deep squat. And I'm gonna show you from the side because it's better if you have the ball against a wall. That way you can lean back into it. So if you have a wall nearby, go ahead and just walk yourself over to that wall. And then sit into this deep squat. Letting your hips drop down. Try to get your feet planted into the floor and feel that nice opening through the hips. Just breathe into it. Feel free to always hang out here for as long as you want. If that feels good, this is a great place to help stretch and open up through the hips. Now, we're going to just carefully come out of that position. 
we're gonna come into our hip flexor stretch. So the ball is going to be in front of you, come to a kneeling position, step one foot forward, forearms come onto the ball, tuck the tailbone under, and just release here. And then when you're ready, extend that front leg, and then hands on top of the ball, roll the ball forward so you feel that hamstring stretch. Just letting your chest drop down to the floor. And then gently roll up, we change legs. Other foot steps forward, forearms come onto the ball, drop the hips forward, just releasing through those hip flexors. And then when you are ready, extend the front legs and the hips back, the hands on top of the ball, and then roll the ball forward out in front of you. Deep breaths right into your belly. And then roll the ball in, bring that knee back. Take those knees nice and wide, send the hips back, and drop into your child's pose. Just holding it here, breathing into it. And then from here, you're gonna carefully ripple yourself up and then roll back down. And up, you can either keep your hips down or lift and then roll back out. Be our last one and hold it here for a moment just really release into it and then I'm just going to keep the ball where it is and turn myself to the side I'm just gonna send my hips back down and then bring my one hand on top of the ball just to let my shoulder drop forward just to open up through that shoulder a little bit Maybe give a little wiggle out. And then roll the ball over to the other side. Other hand down to the floor. And then just drop that chest down. Just opening up into that shoulder. And then roll it back in. Well done, those are some of my favorite stretches to do on the birth ball. I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope you feel a little bit more at ease in your body and it's released any stiffness. Let me know if you have any questions and I can't wait to see you on our next video. Bye.